Today, oh my God, oh my God. I'm on the ranch with the Pioneer Woman. Yay! And we're doing things in the kitchen I already feel guilty about. We're going to need to go to confession after this <laughs> for sure. Today is a day I've dreamed about for years. I'm on my way to visit someone who's sort of a hero of mine. She is someone I look up to and admire. Oh my god, oh my god! Part big sister, part mentor, but she's also a friend. And her name is Reed Drummond. <laughs> oh my god, I might cry. Yay! Hi, Reed! <laughs> oh my gosh, Reed! I am so happy you're here! It's run and great. I feel Hi. like I want to cry a little oh. bit. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so, so happy to, to be you. here. You look fantastic. So do you. You're on the ranch. I feel like it's literally taken me five years uh, <laughs> to get I here. Know. I just... Hi, buddy. <laughs> well, come in and stay forever. I will. I will. <laughs> Rhea is known all over the world as the Pioneer Woman. She's written a bunch of best-selling cookbooks, and now she has a popular TV show. We had a long journey. Yeah. Come on. She also has a family with four children, so yeah, she's kind of busy. And we've never had a chance to spend this kind of time together, which is why I'm so happy to have this opportunity now. Well, Joy, you're in Oklahoma. I can see that. It's like there's just so much space. Yeah, there aren't a lot of neighbors to borrow eggs from around here. It's incredible. I have this near my house, but it's ocean. Oh, well, that's not too shabby. <laughs> not too bad. Where's your house? Um, it's that way. <laughs> it's about like, two, two miles that way, I think. Two miles? And my brother-in-law's over there. And um, California's that way. California? I was yep. just there. You just came from there. Yeah. Well, I'm oh, glad you finally made it to the ranch. I've been wanting you to visit forever. Thank you for having me. Well, tonight, just fun. make yourself at home. And then oh, tomorrow, will. we'll hit the ground running. OK. And do what we do best. Eat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go in and we'll get settled. Okay. I spent the night in the lodge and woke up to the rain. I wasn't expecting it, but it's actually kind of nice. Rhee is on the way from her house, and that's perfect because I'm in the mood for comfort food, which is Ree's specialty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> it's raining. We brought storms with you. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely. How are good you? Morning. I'm real good. How'd you sleep? Like a dream. It's so fun to have you here. I woke up and I was yeah. so excited to get up here. Yeah. So what do you want to do first? I think <laughs> we should make breakfast. I think that sounds perfect. I'm excited. Okay. So Joy the Baker, <laughs> I've been dying to make you my mom's cinnamon rolls oh. and she started making them when I was in the womb. Really? So I've loved them all my life and even longer. <laughs> <laughs> Ree's cinnamon rolls are a big deal. Her batch makes about seven trays of rolls, enough to feed an entire ranch. And then I'll throw in a cup of sugar and you can stir that in. You can tell it's a family recipe because Ree knows it by heart. and. She improvises along the way. And I'm not careful when I measure. Joy the Baker's here and I'm like. <laughs> Ree uses a technique I've never tried before. She mixes all her ingredients in a Dutch oven and uses that for proofing. Proofing is when you allow the yeasted dough to rise. We cover the dough for an hour and when it's done. Let's see what it is. Ah! The dough is risen and it's ready to be rolled. Ooh. It smells so good. Like it does. Yeasty. It's so yeasty. I love it. So now I'm going to add another cup of flour, oh. a heaping teaspoon of baking powder, okay, and a scant teaspoon of baking soda. Science. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, and then we need a tablespoon of salt. The next step is to take half the dough out of the pot and roll it out. And you know there's going to be butter. This is getting good. Cup of sugar. Just sprinkle until a little bit of sugar is standing on the surface. So most of it has absorbed, and then the cinnamon goes right on. Of course, cinnamon, you don't want to go overboard. Oops. Overboard? 
We're nowhere near overboard. Wait, wait, wait. Before we finish, I brought some ingredients from California. Is it sushi? <laughs> Pistachios mm. and oranges. And then if we're totally crazy, we could chop some dark chocolate inside too. I've always thought we were really crazy. I've so. always thought we were <laughs> I'm crazy I'm in favor too. of that. This is exactly why we're friends, because we know that you can never have too much of a good thing. Like, oh my gosh. I know. We, what have we done? We're gonna need to go to confession after <laughs> this, for sure. And then Ree shows me how to roll it up in a new way typewriter style? I just make these little movements with my fingers and just roll it as tightly. It is tightly. sort of a typewriter move. Yeah, and then it's cling, and then you go back the <laughs> other direction. Once the rolls are ready, they are cut into thick slices and then it's off to the oven. While they're baking, we whip up a vanilla orange glaze to top the warm rolls. Oh, joy the baker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's ah! Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pistachios. They're beautiful and the chocolate is all melty. There's no shying away from this glaze. We're just gonna tip this bowl. And finally, they're ready to eat. Cheers. Cheers. Bing. Mm. Mm. These are so delicious. That might be the best variation I've ever tasted. I mean, really? the chocolate. The orange zest, perfectly representative of your fine steak. I love it. And we smash it all together. Well, I hate to tell you this, Joy, but you're never leaving. I brought a really big suitcase. Okay, good. I thought you might <laughs> say that. <laughs> Seriously.